Does your computer struggle to run Transport Fever 2? Today I'm going to show you how to basically double your FPS in any Transport Fever 2 save and it's so, so simple to do. So let's show you how to do it. So close down Transport Fever 2 and go to your Steam library and then Transport Fever 2. Once you're here, simply press the workshop button underneath achievements and then go to search at the top right and we're going to type in performance. Press enter and the first result here, click on this one as a little spanner and press subscribe. Now, when you've installed this, it means that you're unable to get achievements in game. And there is actually a way around this, don't worry. If you search W slash and then press enter, it should come up achievements with mods. Click on this one and press subscribe again. And then go ahead and boot up Transport Fever 2 once again. So what we're going to do, instead of pressing continue like you would usually do, just go down a little bit and you'll see this one load game. Press this one here and then we're going to scroll down and find the game save we want, which is this one here in my case. Go down here to select options. Search first of all W slash and make sure achievements with mods is enabled and then get rid of that. And now we're going to search performance and then click on this one. Now you're going to enable this, but there's one more thing we need to do, which is going to be we are going to adjust the render distance, the threshold distance and the absolute maximum distance. And I know these are big words and they do sound a little bit complicated if you're not familiar with them. But don't you worry because they are actually very simple. Honestly, I wouldn't touch the first two. They aren't too big of an issue. It's the bottom one that you really want to be concerned about. Now, absolute maximum render distance. So this basically means the most amount of distance away from the camera that is going to be spawned in on the map or visible to you. So in the vanilla game, you're probably aware there is some fog that blocks out the rest of the map when you're in one certain area. Now, when you're all the way zoomed out, this absolute maximum render distance is about 25,000. So you can set it to whatever number you want here. Just remember the top value here is going to be pretty much the game's default. Now, what I tend to go for is around 15,000 because this is a lot more cosmetic. And this is actually the settings that I use for the Brutal series, which is the hardest series in Transport Fever 2 with the story element. It's an awesome series. And there's a link in the top right of this video if you're interested. But if you have an absolute potato running Transport Fever 2, you want to bring this thing all the way down. If you're on John's old Windows 95 that you've had sitting around on your desk 20 years, you probably also want to knock these guys down a little bit more. So you would turn these ones right down to the bottom here. But we don't want that. We just want the default values because these top two are really going to affect the visuals in the game. So once you've done that and you've chosen the bottom slider that you want the most. So in this case, I'm going to go for the default 10,000. But we're going to leave turn on custom presets alone. We don't need to touch that one. And they're going to press OK at the bottom and then start game. And you can see now that the FPS is way smoother. And just as a proof of concept, I've put loads of cities in this area and there is absolutely no problem with frames. But this is only one thing. Check out this playlist on screen right now to see loads of videos that are going to better your game experience just like this one.